Hello and welcome to Bernadette TV, online TV to help you be the best you can be in your business and your life. And this week's episode is a very special episode because we're celebrating Bernadette TV is one years old this week. And uh, also I must mention, it's not just Bernadette TV's birthday, my son Benan also turns eight this week. So happy birthday Benan, I love you very, very much. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to take you behind the scenes of Bernadette TV. And maybe you've been wondering, what does it take to produce 52 episodes? And it's actually um, easier than you might think. And so I wanna take you behind the scenes and show you some of the, like, the little tricks and secrets that we do. Um, we're all gonna, also gonna uh, really uh, take you behind the wizard's curtain um, to the point that um, I don't even have, I don't know if it's gonna, possible to show you on camera, but I don't even have shoes on um, because my feet have got a bit blistered, so you get to see my bare feet. So what I want you to do, first of all, let's talk about where we film Bernadette TV. I wanted to choose something that had a contemporary background, and I love this orange brick, but also from a practical point of view, um, we needed to have something which was quite a plain background because we put graphics up and we uh, put things, you know, bullet points, and we wanted something that wouldn't, was, was going to work with that. So that's why we chose... Um, this particular studio and I work here with Ashleen who's my video producer and we occasionally have a second camera person Ryan he's not here today but I just really want to you know you to come with me and I want to show you around and show you how we do this so follow me I want to show you around so this is the studio where we actually film and what we do is we come here every uh, four to six weeks and we film we can film six episodes in a day and um, there you go I'll, hope, I'll hold the door open for you <laughs> So I'm a really big fan of batching and um, even when before I had a TV show and I used to produce articles regularly, the way that I recommend that you do this is that you, you batch that content creation. So basically take half a day or a full day every couple of months and get your five or ten articles done. And it's so much easier to do it that way because you get into a rhythm, you get into momentum than if you're constantly stopping starting or that every single week you have the burden of creating an episode. I think it would be impossible, it would have been impossible for us to have created 52 episodes over the last year if we were trying to film, edit, upload a video every week. It just was not going to work with my schedule. So we do it this way and it's made it so much easier. So in here, this is um, Robin and um, Robin is the person who's here to make me look glamorous. So she comes and does my hair and makeup and again that's another great advantage of batching. It means that my hair and makeup gets, gets done once, uh, but we can film the six episodes in that day. And if you have a look over here, but hopefully not too far, because I can see some of my underwear is down there, and um, that's the VIP upgrade to get to see that. So I've brought along different outfits um, that I'll, I'm wearing today, and so, uh, you know, I've just got different clothes on in, um, in each episode. So um, as I take you back to our studio, I want to answer a question that comes up a lot when I talk to people about creating content, whether it's um, video content or article content or podcasting. And people always have the question, what on earth will I talk about? How will I come up with enough topics? And so one thing that we do here is we just really work on the questions that come in. So I've been teaching people marketing and business growth for some time, and there's certain questions that come up over and over and over. And sometimes it's practical questions about things like getting new clients or handling refund requests or... Um, it, sometimes it's more mindset. It could be to do with confidence. Um, we're actually filming an episode today, which is uh, the fear of not being good enough, which is something that I see people stop people, um, stop st <laughs> something that I see stops people um, over and over and over as they step out there in their business. So come back inside, and then I'm actually going to bring Ashleen in front of the camera with me, so you get to see Ashleen, and uh, we're just also going to talk and share with you some of our. Um, some of the things that we've learned over this past year about creating an online TV channel. So come on over, Ashleen. Let's uh, meet the woman behind Bernadette TV. <laughs> so Ashleen is my uh, producer. I can't believe that we're here one year on because it honestly seems to me just like yesterday that I was meeting with you and saying, I've got this idea, I want to do this online TV show. So I know, um, how time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> no, it's been absolutely brilliant how it's changed from the very beginning. You know, when we first started with Bernadette TV, we were using an auto cue and um, different things like that, but we quickly realised that the auto cue wasn't, um, it wasn't bringing across your personality as much as 
just when you were talking to me on a one-to-one. -one. So uh, if you look back at the very early episodes, you might see a bit of a difference. So we ditched the, the auto cue. Yeah, and what happened was I used to script them and write them in advance. And um, actually, if you do look back to the early episodes, you can see there's something that's not quite natural. It's not quite me. Now, Diane, you gave us a big clue in your question when you use the phrase, all the years of struggling. The fact is, being successful in business does require you to dig deep and you will discover an inner strength you didn't know you had. And what we just discovered is, um, I seem to do best when we just you know, point the camera at me and I start to talk about topics that I'm interested in or, or passionate about. And it's, it's actually simplified the filming, hasn't yeah, it, to do definitely. that? Yeah. No, yeah, it just means that uh, when we were using the auto cue, there might have been a lot of stopping and starting, where now Bernadette kind of goes on a flow and sometimes we can't stop her. <laughs> but uh, it just makes the, the editing process easier for me because we're not cutting quite as much. You're cutting, you know, maybe every minute or every 30 or 40 seconds, yeah. so, which is good. And will you share a little bit about the process that happens? Like after we stop, after we're going to film six episodes here today, after we film those, what happens next? Like what, what are the steps that have to happen? for those videos to end up online on, on YouTube? Yeah, well basically after today we take the footage, we back it up first of all, which is very important to make sure <laughs> that we have it. So we have two cameras. So basically then I put them into uh, the editing software and I have to match the two uh, camera roll, so the B roll and the A roll. So yeah. to match up your voice to uh, make sure they're both the same. And then I will go through and cut out all the different mistakes or the stop, the stopping and starting. Yeah, that's actually another really great tip because people have said to me, oh, but Bernadette, you, when you talk, it seems like you don't make any error. Well, it might seem like that, but the truth is I make tons of mistakes. They just get edited out. So um, I think we're going to share a, a clip yeah. of when yeah. I was struggling <laughs> <laughs> recently. So it may happen every now and again. Everyone, even when you're speaking in your day-to-day -day, uh, speech you do make mistakes so we just kind of go through and cut out the little errors or Bernadette if I think she's tripped on a word I'll get her to say it again so that's why it's handy having the two different camera angles because then you can cut in and it looks like it's a smooth transition. Well hold your horses there cowboy it may not be that you're selling the wrong thing but it's the way that you're describing it that makes the difference. I'm gonna do that again. Well hold your horses there cowboy because <laughs> Well, hold your horses there, cowboy. It may not be that you're selling the wrong thing, it's the way that you're describing it which is making the difference. Mm -hmm. So we do that and then I go through and write out uh, basically the points and the bullet points that you were saying, uh, key messages that Bernadette wants to highlight. Uh, so I write out a script then we send that over to our graphics department. So then he will work on animating the different bullet points and maybe some wee funny things that Bernadette has said. We will make a wee graphic or like a cartoon kind of thing. So we do that, then once we get that, they are sent back to me. I overlay them over the video that we've already taken. I colour it all, grade it all. Then the little bit at the end where Bernadette sometimes does a little funny kind of <laughs> skit, uh, I put that in and then put in the, the intros and the outros and the watermarks and all that kind of stuff. And once I get all that done, you render it and then export it and then I send it over to Dermot. Okay, and how long does it take? We, our videos are about five minutes long. How long is the editing process per video? Per video, um, it would take a good couple of hours to get it all together, you mm. know, in terms of there's a lot of time where you have to render things and wait for things to all uh, encode through the computer. So when you the actually cutting it down and getting what you're saying doesn't take that long, but it's more the process of getting the graphics and colouring it all, making sure the music and everything is all right, yeah. and then that's it. But it's a fun experience and um, every episode is different and I actually learn something <laughs> from every episode which is great as well. Yeah, so that's so there you have it, that's how it all happens behind the scenes. I get to do the easy bit, I just stand here and talk and then it's Ashleen who is the genius behind the scenes who then turns that into the weekly online episodes uh, that you see every week. So thanks for being a viewer of Bernadette TV. Thanks for all of your support over the past 12 months. We're looking really forward to raising the bar, stepping up, making it even bigger and better over yeah. the next 12 months. Who knows how that's going to unfold. Yeah. But I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and giving me the opportunity to meet you every week like this and share um, my learnings with you. So that's so to, it from us. To the next year. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.